On the east coast of South Africa, we've got the Saskai area, known under anglers as border, hosting some of the best fishing on our coastline, with a variety of species being bronze bream, cob, white steambrus, diamonds, duck bulls, a whole range of flatfish, and then the ragged tooth sharks, as well as some bronze whalers in some areas. This is such a nice area if you want to get used to reading water. It's now half past six in the morning. We're here at Hamburg car park. The sea is flat. There's a lot of weed in the water. The only nice thing that we've got is we've got a flat sea and overcast conditions. The water is not cold. I put it at maybe 19, 18 degrees. We're gonna try for a raggy, that's what we're here for. Um, my dad's got his first bait in the water there. Um, I don't know what to say, I'm gonna put a mullet on, throw it out and see what happens. But as it's looking, it's not looking too kosher for catching raggies. But later on, we're gonna go across the river with old Russell Kinney, one of the fishing guides that are here on the Hamburg River area, he's a fishing and hunting guide. He's got vast knowledge of this whole stretch here. So we'll have a look, see, there's two other guys down the bottom fishing in a big hole that Russell said looks very good for raggies. So we'll have a look, see what happens here, guys. The tackle that I'm using is my saltest 15 foot, my standard rod that I use for those big fish. Basically, that's my saltest over there. High volume fiber, my dog fight. Um, this is 65 pound J braid, it's a new braid that I've been playing around with. It seems to be working quite well. 200 pound nylon coated wire. It's a sliding tray so it basically runs up and down. It's at least a meter and a half to two meters. These are 13-0 ring soys that are spray painted black um, for nighttime fishing and low light conditions. So I'm trying to get it as close to the natural environment as I can. And that's basically it. I'm gonna put a two big mullet on. I'm going to make a bait yeah, two cricket ball sizes with a lot of foam in it so I can lift it off. There's a lot of weed in the water that's obviously sitting on the bottom so I need to try and lift my bait up as much as possible. So let me go ahead and see what I can do here. Just putting some uh, what's the name on here? My standard old cotton. Just putting a big chunk of uh, foam on just to give a bit of flotation, yeah? The sea, like I said, is too flat, too calm. Um, the weed is prolific here in the waves in front of us. So I definitely need to lift the bait up as much as I can. Okay. I'm going to take the mullet and knock it and smash it to get a lot more flavor out in the water. Like I said, there's not a lot of movement. So I'm going to hit the mullet and a bit of mackerel just to get a lot more flavor out in the water. There's very little movement here. Mr. Thompson Ray's dad was the first to get proper interest on the bait, which seemed to be the target species, a ragged to shock. But unfortunately there was no hookup. Quite the norm with raggy sometimes. As most anglers would know, that the conditions dictate your results. In most cases, if you make sure that you're tackling your baits right and the conditions are right, it's only up to the fish. Basically just throwing my first bait in the water and as I was busy throwing it, my dad went away with a fish, duffed that first raggy of his. Definitely a raggy bite. So we'll just park off and relax. I don't know how long it was. How long was your bait out for? Ten minutes. Ten minutes and he had his first bite. So that's quite a good sign. <coughs> like I said, the only bonus we got is that it's overcast and the sea's not too big. But we'll see how it goes today. Starting 
to clear a little bit there that's starting to break a bit you can see the blue sky coming out there's still that muggy kind of mm, rain that we're having mm. my first bait i threw no bite around it in i saw a little bit of a rip current with a bit different colored water over there so i've thrown the bait there i want to see what happens my dad on his first throw had a raggy pickup the wires all mangled and messed but obviously he didn't set the hooks properly on it so i don't know maybe a small raggy that messed him around i think i'm gonna walk on wait onto that reef there and throw a little bit further out and see what happens i actually need to get some some sort of a, a bait when i say a bait i'm talking something very fleshy mullet again mackerel soft mushy bait like a mackerel i think that's what i'm going to throw next a very mushy bait and i know exactly where i'm going to go with no luck at car park rocks Ray took up Russell Keeney's offer to go look for fresh mullet in the river. In general, the fresher the bait, the better the results. What's happening now is Russell's uh, graciously volunteered to take us out on his boat to try and catch some mullet so we can use them for the raggies for later on this afternoon. Thank you, Russell. Sure. Appreciate it. Bye. Species for us? <laughs> Not the target species, no. Ah. Shake him right. get a bite here but it's really looking nice for an edible fish of some sort making sure my fish stays alive there I can feel him moving I'm very happy about that oh, that's it Southern side of Hamburg, 
There's no raggies at the moment. They seem to have gone off completely. Putting a whole mullet on. I'm gonna go and throw it just over there where that dirtier water is. I see there's a big rock and another rock, so I'm just gonna throw that side and see if anything else on the southern side of Hamburg might be around. But we're really battling today to get bites. now and I ducked it. The first one I've ducked in a bloody long time. But you can see the teeth marks, the puncher marks in it. So it was quite a, a nice size raggy by the looks of things. Look at that. So I don't know. All I can do is try again. With Ray Thompson's recent trip to this area, the conditions were prone to target some reggies. The braid and the tackle we use of late really assists in landing fish over the rocks, allowing you to pull it much harder and get it out quicker to the advantage of the fish. When the bites are slow in this area, so is your hookups generally. These reggies can mess you around and play with your bait for long periods of time. And sometimes you'll hook them, fight them, all the way to the side and they'll merely open their mouth and spit your bait out. size of the scissors. These teeth get replaced every so often. It's a lovely little female, about 40 kilos. Lovely little fish to play around with. I'll put it back here in my Come on baby. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. It's a lovely little hole here that you can swim out in. They weren't feeding properly at all. As you can see, the water's cleaned up. It's flat, it's hot, it's not right at all. The water temperature is definitely not what it should be. But we manage one fish. That's the most important thing at the end of the day. But we're gonna go back now, go net some mullet, have some lunch, and come back maybe tomorrow. We'll go to Bicha tomorrow. We'll see what we do.